I mean, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to hide, but I just don't know if I want to be tracked at all times. If you don't have nothing to hide, just like I don't have nothing to hide, what would be the point of not having it? Let me tell you this. I've been tracked for 13 okay, years. But you... No, I never agree to that because this shows, like, lack of trust and, you know what I mean, issues on her end. I want to have that. We'll have that. And that's on period. Nah, no need for that. I just moved here to Atlanta about a month ago for Martel's release. So I finally get to see the place, huh? Yep. All right, so this is the place. All the appliances are pretty much new. Then, when the last time you used the stove? Uh, yesterday. Well, you should have cleaned it before you um, left the kitchen. The last time I used the stove was last night when I was in a rush trying to make some food so that I can go to bed so I can wake up and get your ass today on time. Washer and dryer. Look like you might need to do a load of clothes too, right, babe? Don't keep disrespecting me. I'm about to slap the out of you on camera and you don't even know it. Then what's gonna happen? Then we just gonna be in here fighting. Don't keep on trying me. The stove, really? Why didn't you just bust a sudden and wash it then? Because I just seen it. And then doing a load of clothes? What do you mean? You can't see? Well, why is that even important? It's not your stuff. Do the own tour. I'm a clean person, you know what I mean? Like, that's mandatory for me. Like, I shower twice a day, very neat and um, presentable at all times, even in prison, you know, my cell stayed neat and spotless. Like, bitch, I live two lives for 13 damn years, and you want to sit up there and pinpoint little ass and try to shade me? No, that's not happening. What about these two bedroom, two bath that I presented to your mother ass? Y'all enjoy y'all self on my side. Okay, bye. I would have never did no like that to you, ever. Hey, lie. She all uh, been that tripping. I didn't came to the mall. How she got more and her unclothed, unfolded. I tell her about it, she get mad. I ain't trying to hear that Like, the stove, though? The stove. Please, please look at the stove. I want to do breakfast. So what do you want to do today after we eat? I want to go to a strip club. I want to go give me a bottle. All right, that's a bet, bro. I'm going to get ready to go in and run this barbershop real quick. I want to eat. I want to see my barber, but I ain't seen him in a long time. That's my dog. I don't need a haircut. I got my hair done. I'm doing my priorities now. And she's staying in the car now. She ain't coming in, just me. Okay. I don't have to do what you tell me to do. You don't tell me I can wait in my car when my car is the thing that got you here. Like, no. I'm tired of the lack of respect around this mother. I'm going to get my haircut. Y'all figure that out. Oh, You always got plans for you, but never give a about what nobody else got going on. I got upset plenty of times when I was in prison, but once I seen it going a certain way, I just hang up. You saying, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I got to do this, I got to do that, but none of it involves me. Now I can't just hang up when she's mad or yelling or whatever. You get what I'm saying? I'm making no sense. OK, get the out. You heard what I said. Get the what out. You talking about? Get the out and do you what you want to do. Me out of nothing. Get the out and do what you, you want to do. You can never do that. I come to you with a decent ass conversation trying to compromise with your selfish ass. Okay. And clearly there's no compromising with someone so selfish. I'm waking up in a hotel room because Martel is on home confinement for the next two months in my apartment. Thank you for this gathering, and thank you for Martel coming upon home confinement. It feels unreal, so we thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to see you smiling again. Thank you. I'm glad to see him smile. I'm looking forward to, in the near future, having our first child together. I'm tired Give me a kiss, so man. And just, you know, all the blessings that are coming our way. Mm -hmm.
So, you know, your family, you close to them, and, you know, I'm sorry about, you know, you losing your mom and your dad like that. My dad was like my best friend. He had cancer maybe about six years ago now. It did take, take its life. Yeah. Last December, I lost my mom. It was, it was a bit of a... It was a different process, you know, I had to go through it with her.